let's see what are like and unlike terms. Let's look at the terms given here. On the first line, you can see three terms. And what do you see in these three terms? You can see that all these three terms have the same variable, but the coefficients are different. Similarly, on the second line, there are again three terms. Here also, there is the same variable, but the coefficients are different. Such kind of terms are called as like terms. Like terms are those terms where the variable is the same, but the coefficients may or may not be the same. That means 2x, 7x and 13x are like terms and 5y, 8y and y, y is same as 1y. When the coefficient is not written, it is 1. So 5y, 8y and y are like terms. Now what about this 9a and 5b? Here the terms have different variables. Such terms are called as unlike terms. Now let's look at this example 5a and a square. Now you can see that in the first term the variable is a and in the second term the variable is a square. Now what should I call this? Are these like terms or are these unlike terms? These are unlike terms. So what we understand is that for the terms to be like terms, not only the variable should be the same, but the power of the variable should also be the same. That means when there are the same variables with the same power, then the terms are called as like terms. That means 5a and a square are unlike terms. Now let's look at this algebraic expression. 6a plus 4b plus 3a plus 2b. Now in this expression, what we can do is we can see that there are some like terms and some unlike terms. We can group the like terms. Which terms we can group? 6a and 3a and the other group would be 4b and 2b. How do we group the terms? We can add the coefficients or subtract and group the terms. That means only the coefficients can be added or subtracted. So if I group 6a and 3a, I would get 6a plus 3a which is equal to 9a and 4b plus 2b gives me 6b. So this expression equals 9a plus 6b. This is called as simplification of the algebraic expression. What we have done here is that we have grouped the like terms and we have simplified the expression. Let's look at another example. Now here you can see three different variables. So let's group the like terms here. 4p plus 2p gives 6p. 5q plus 2q gives 7q. And 3r plus r, r means 1r. So 3r plus 1r gives 4r. So the simplified expression is 6p plus 7q plus 4r. So far we have only added the coefficients and we haven't done any subtraction because both the algebraic expressions that we have simplified had only plus signs. Now let's look at the next example. 7x minus 3y minus 2x plus 10y. Let's mark the like terms 7x minus 2x. So 7x minus 2x equals 5x and minus 3y plus 10y. That means 10y minus 3y equals 7y. So the simplified expression looks like this 5x plus 7y. In the next example, both the terms are like terms. 
and the coefficient in both the terms is not written that means the coefficient is 1. So a square plus a square means 1 a square plus 1 a square. When I add the coefficients I get 2 a square. This is how you simplify an algebraic expression by clubbing together the like terms.